Here's another live look now on the lakeshore in southwest Michigan. That's at the St. Joe Lighthouse. Really low visibility out there, as you can see. And then about 50 miles up the coast, this is a live look at Saugatuck right now. You can barely see that everything just buried in snow. Here in Kent County, traffic still pretty slow going from the snow and the icy conditions. That's 196 at College Avenue in Grand Rapids. And Joe, they certainly have the right idea because slow going is the way to go home tonight for sure. It is. And, you know, when I left last night at you know, midnight or so, yeah. there wasn't a lot of people on the roads. So yes. it was fairly easy to drive home. I came in today, there was a lot of people on the roads. The roads were still pretty bad. Yeah, and, and now it's even more slippery, I feel like, because it's packed down it's with packed so many people. Down, it's yeah. Hard. yeah, and the ice does not work, uh, the snow doesn't work well in this yeah. type of situation. So, yeah, it's just got to slow down. That's all you can do. Uh, so, I got to talk, no waiting for an outdoor table there, that's for sure. That's a wintry scene. It's going to stay that way for quite a while. Uh, we've got fairly light snowfall amounts expected along the lake shore. Uh, tonight, and I think that's going to about do it. There may be another one to three inches in most areas, but the trend will be for the snow to diminish. Wind chills below zero tonight, and also a good portion of your Saturday. So even though uh, it's not going to be snowing all day Saturday, it's going to be cold. Temps up around 15 degrees, but wind chills below zero in many areas. Now it starts to change a bit as we get into Sunday. Milder weather coming in on Sunday, at least the mid to upper 20s which is a lot better than the teens and below zero stuff. Uh, Riverhouse Tower Cam, well, traffic is moving, but moving slowly. That's a good sign. And uh, the commute this evening, uh, probably not quite as bad as it was yesterday evening in many areas of the lakeshore. We got hit very early yesterday afternoon, and obviously that caused some uh, major problems. This cold air plunges all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Right now, it's 37 degrees in Houston, Texas, 41 at New Orleans, and there's cold air off to the west, 28 in Denver, so this is a large push of cold air. The good news is the upper air pattern is going to change just a little bit and start to bring in some milder weather. We still have the lake effect going on right now. That will wind down just because we're going to see the moisture kind of go back just a little bit. We're still going to have the cold air in place and spots along the lake shore, uh, especially from Muskegon towards Holland and southward, as I mentioned before, could pick up another one to three inches for tonight. Take a look at some of these snowfall totals. 16 inches of snow up in Sullivan. That's in Muskegon County. That's about the most I have seen from this particular system. And that came in from earlier today. Had a little bit further south. Down in uh, Berry County, Orangeville, seven and a half inches of snow. So everybody got into the act. But by far, it was uh, more significant or most significant along the lakeshore. And then down in Berrien County, uh, St. Joseph picked up just under five inches of snow. So everybody had, in general, over three inches of snow. Current visibilities, again, still low. Mile Grand Rapids, mile and a half at Holland, down below a mile at South Haven and uh, Benton Harbor. In fact, uh, well below a, a mile in Benton Harbor. Here's future track with these west northwesterly winds. They seem to be lining up along and south of 96, but notice the trend kind of going away as we go through overnight tonight. Here is Saturday. Uh, Saturday should be fine, just a couple of snow showers early. And then Saturday night, a little system passing off to our north could bring some light snow. We're talking about an inch, maybe two inches from Grand Rapids northward Saturday night into Sunday morning. Fox 7 day forecast again for your Saturday. Still cold, snow showers, but they will be light. A couple of flurries on Sunday. Monday still kind of chilly at 23. Tuesday we drop back to 19 and then back into the mid to upper 20s for Wednesday through Friday. No big storms on the uh, seven day forecast right now. Michelle. All right, Joe. We'll be right back after the break.